You may have noticed Paddy Gower is everywhere right now and he has a new string to his bow. His memoir, This is the Effing News, is out today and tracks his sometimes unconventional life and career. And there is one particular story in the book which I am interested in. Kia ora, Paddy. Kia ora. Let's get into it. Tell me about the time that you got stuck in Dubai. You were supposed to be on a plane with then Prime Minister John Key heading to Iraq. What happened? Well, I locked my passport in the hotel room safe in case it got stolen or something <laughs> stupid like that. Next minute, I'm at an army base with the SAS, with John Key, with the media, ready to go see the president of Iraq, no less. Uh, we all called out to the runway to get on the plane. They say, we've got to go through immigration, get your passports out. I remember mine's locked back in the safe. Oh, no. my, my life flashes before my eyes. I think I'm going to lose my job. And I watched John Key uh, take off in the New Zealand Air Force plane literally over my head with everybody else on the plane to go. With the rest of New Zealand's yeah, yeah, media. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. But somehow this massive passport fail was righted by a very well-timed sandstorm. A sandstorm <laughs> came to Paddy's favour. They got to Iraq. They couldn't go anywhere further than the Baghdad air airport runway. They ended up having to come back to Dubai, where I'd been sitting quite scared, quite worried about what was happening. They had got literally nowhere, came back to Dubai and had to go again. I was luckily on the plane with them the very next day, like nothing had ever happened. And there was an embargo here in New Zealand, so nobody knew that I'd missed it. Oh, that is so lucky. And of course, you had your passport with you that second time around. You must have a little bit of a lucky streak, and it, and it features in the book. Yeah, and I call it Paddy Luck. Uh, it's a sort of version of Irish luck that comes and helps me out many times, but that was certainly the very epitome of, of Paddy Luck, and there's lots of good yarns like that in the book. Well, I can't wait to read it. This is the effing news, Paddy Gower, Yes, and I story. signed it for you and I didn't just say if and I gave the full word if that's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thanks so much. <laughs> Paddy Namahinui, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Thank you, Sam.